Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I'm Rex. This is a fancy bottle. Maximum fancy. Max fans. Doesn't get much fancier than this. That's slang for no. that's what the kids are saying these days. The Willet, this is a name in the whiskey. Yes, it is. It is a well-known name. It goes back a long ways. Uh, most modern recent history, yeah. they were contracting all of their distilling out to other Kentucky distilleries. Okay. I mean, they're next door to some pretty big names. And so they've been, they've had contracts for people making their bourbon, but they're still uh, creating the bourbon they want, the mashables they want, aging the barrels and making and doing the bourbon. Okay. They're just not. And now, now they have their own distillery. They've had it long enough that some of their own stuff is likely going into some of these. Right. Not this one. I think they're estate bourbons. And they're a state rise. No, theirs now. There's a bottle from Willet that's mm -hmm. the same general shape, but it's much bigger. What is yeah. that? It's the it, same thing. Okay. You mean? You have it. You mean this one? Yeah, that's the. It's the. It's the same thing. It's like a whiskey bomb. It's a larger size. It's whiskey bomb. <laughs> it's mint. It's a pot still. Oh. Ah, oh. uh, you're only uh, really just not getting that. Well, I my the pot stills usually have a lot more ornate, fiddly things coming off of here. <laughs> well, you got to be able to pour it. I guess. All right. So this is. I their, want ornate. This is their pot still bourbon. Oh, and by the way, this is a gift from a magnificent ambassador who wrote you a note and me a note, mm -hmm. but did not leave handwritten. Yeah. Wait, really? But I was kidding. But. He, he wanted his name, his name is Blank, from Blank. Blank, you magnificent bastard! Fight. So I have no idea who it is, but he, he wrote a note for you. Rex only. I didn't, totally didn't read it. I may have only recently joined the tribe, but I have noticed a bourbon that y'all have not tried yet. Mm -hmm. Willits bourbon. So it would be a pleasure if the newly appointed, maybe by maybe me. Maybe by me. <laughs> maybe by me, only level four. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Will it's bourbon. So it would be a pleasure if the newly appointed, maybe by me only level four Mooch would taste this beauty and see if he can depict the flavor notes and then you can tell him what he is missing. Rex, here you asked to compare. Wait, this may be silent. Okay, enjoy my fellow bro. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I have the, I have the instructions. Remember, we're not in the vault, so I'm going to have to go down to the vault if you're looking for more. Oh, that's things. such a hardship for you. <sighs> All right, so these guys are also known as Kentucky Bourbon Distillers Limited. They managed to get the URL Kentucky Bourbon. No sh**. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's, it's like, damn, that's impressive. Right. Yeah, let's, uh, I typed it, I was looking for something. It's KentuckyBourbonWhiskey.com, that's what they got. Perfumey floral, man, this is jumping out of the glass with these, with these notes. You see what I mean by it? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, but it is that light, refreshing, like, fresh spring. Yes. Yeah. Fresh flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking, speaking of weather, I'm in such an amazing mood. Oh, this weather's astounding. Got up this morning, little bit of a chill. Oh. Little bit of a chill. Last night, yeah. I left here at about midnight after yeah. working on stuff. Yeah. I had to go back inside and get a hoodie. Yeah. You know what it feels like? It feels like, and this is a big, it's a big deal for the rest it. in Texas. It feels like the world is air conditioned. Yes, it does. And it's amazing. <laughs> and everything's going to be okay. In <laughs> Texas, it means We've just survived another summer right. because the first morning you wake up with a little bit of a chill in the air, right. you're like, okay, I mean, we may have some hot days in the next month still, right. but we've effectively cracked through to the other side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's glorious. No, like, I, was, I, was, I was stepping out of the house and I was like, what is this? What's going on? I'm uncomfortable. Huh. It's cold. Oh, it's cold. No, no, it wasn't uncomfortable. It's just... <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> this is a weird sensation. It just feels good. It doesn't all. It's not already ninety-two degrees. It's eight in the morning. Okay. So I'm not finding any of the dark, dense cherry wood notes in his nose. It's no. just all beautiful floral notes. Yeah. If you like a floral bourbon, this is one of the most perfumey floral bourbons I've had in a while. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not getting a lot of oakiness on this nose. Uh, I'm not getting a lot of caramel. I'm not getting cherry, a lot of cherry. This is dominantly a floral nose for me. There's a there's a, some bit brown of cinnamon. sugar. Yeah. Brown sugar. Yeah. There's some brown sugar. Cinnamon, I mean maybe on the taste. Now I'm starting to get a little more of the woody wicker note in the nose as it opens up. Oh. The brown sugar and honey and oak shows up on the taste. Those flavors you would expect from a lot of bourbons. Oh, and then it finishes with a nice vanilla. Oh yeah. Yeah. It tastes vanilla and wood. It tastes more traditional than it smells. Yeah, but it's much more vanilla than any other classic bourbon that I, that. See, I, I, think I got I, would the, grab I got too. vanilla on the finish there. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, that ending is so much more vanilla. Yeah, 
instead of only wood cinnamon and sugar or only wood and cherry or yeah it's a vanilla floral it's very pretty it's lovely love the hell out of it you know these guys are also noah's mill round creek okay bards town old bards town yeah yeah we should have a really weird bottle but i think to get something so expensive oh my god so expensive. Uh, oh, like oh. sure, we can do any bottle you would like. Your minimum order is uh, five hundred thousand bottles uh, at a cost of two to three dollars a bottle. Oh, huh. right. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> how long would it take at the rate that we release whiskey? How long would it take to get through that? That's what's impressive to me when I see smaller craft releasing with these ornate oh my everything. God. Well, I think why it's so common that we hear the story that somebody for their career was doing something totally different. Mm -hmm. They go and they make their fortune and then they start a distillery as like the thing they always wanted to do, but right. now they have all of this money they made from a very successful career. I really like how this develops because it eventually unlocks that cherry note. And I, well, I'm, I'm like four sips in, and now I'm finding that bourbon. It only cherry. took a couple of minutes in the nose for the well, for me to, for that that slight woody wicker note to start to appear. Yeah, I'm finding more of the oak on the on the taste than the nose. It's starting to show up a little bit on the nose after you've acclimated to the whiskey a bit. Oh man, that's good. Yeah, it's really nice. What was the proof on this? Forty-seven percent. I could easily. Just have Willet as a house bourbon. Yeah, like I, a high quality house bourbon. I suspect this may have been dialed in for like a, a taste proof for the palate. They decided. Oh man! Forty seven percent is the ideal place for this to land for a lot of people to enjoy and still get a lot of flavors. That smells so good. All right, tell people what you're doing. So, uh, Chrissy Martin taught me this, and she learned it elsewhere. But it's. To drop a little bit of the whiskey in your palm, you can do this with a new make, it's really interesting. And uh, what you're doing is you're evaporating the alcohol and leaving behind all the residual oils that are in whiskey. Mm -hmm. And you get uh, nose notes off of the whiskey that are subdued by the alcohol. Right. And all of the dense, sweetened wood notes come out. Just smell in our hands. And then you go back and they're, uh, they're totally, I want you to try that. They're totally different. In, and I'm gonna pour it into here, and then you can. Well, they cut out the well, middleman. Cut out the middleman. Yeah. We don't wanna have to be doing this forever. It's gonna take you forever to dry your hands off if I dump the whole thing in there. Uh, and then the coolest part is not just what you smell, yeah, what you smell on your hands, officer, I swear. I've not been drinking at all. Uh, it's what you smell on the glass. Oh, it's so gross sounding. It's like a wet fish, <laughs> like, a, like a flopping fish. All right, you ready? Oh, no, not the knuckle cracking. Don't do that. It's so wrong. Oh, okay. Oh, man. The See what cinnamon. I mean? It's a cinnamon bomb all Yeah. Time. But then all those nice woody, yeah, leathery cinnamon. notes show up. Yeah. You get the oakiness underneath that. The worn leathers, you're right. right. Yeah. Now I'll go back to the glass and you'll see how the nose changed. Oh! See? It's, it's exploring a whiskey. It makes oh, a big difference. Oh, my God. It really works. Now it's like uh, just an old dusty oak. Yeah. Yeah. Because you sort of numb you yourself like the, to the, the sugars and the baking spices yeah. in there. Interesting. We have Jonathan DeWin... The print is bad on this. DeWind... DeWiddle? DeWindy? Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie. Okay. Does anyone else hate it when you're watching a movie or TV show and there's a scene that involves whiskey and you get all excited to see what it is and it ends up being made up and doesn't exist? Well, yeah. My... That's always frustrating because, yeah. uh, especially if they like the show, there's I think there's an episode of West Wing or something like that, or, yeah. there's, or there's other ones where they finally pull out a scotch, like, we're going to celebrate, and you set the bottle down, what is this? This is a 30-year-old Glintaki Lawson. <laughs> and you're like, oh. Man. You've never had Glintaki Lawson? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, or who was it who commented on, uh, somebody, I can't remember, commented on Longmire, which is a show I really enjoyed. Yeah. Up and at one point... Takes place in Wyoming or Montana? Yeah, uh, Montana, I think it is. Okay. Uh, oh, now I don't know. Maybe it is Wyoming. Anyway, he pours into a, they pour like a log of oil in or 16 or something like that in right. these two glasses, and then they both shoot it in his office. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, ow. Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I mean... Why not? You're, if you're freaking Longmire, you drink whiskey however you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, that well, and, and it's it's something that even like five years ago, the idea of drinking something 
neat in a weird glass like this. Mm -hmm. I was like, what the hell is this? I've never seen this. And you have a, you know, your adult life, the experience around alcohol is going to the bars and you get a neat pour. It's going to be in a little glass and you shoot it. Mm -hmm. Well, in, in America. America. In America. Well, yes, I am American. In America. It's so, not the spoiler case. Spoiler alert. I'm, you're a, I'm an American. No way. Wen Homan. Uh, Wen Mohan. Wen Mohan. Anyone else getting exciting seeing the shelves slowly go empty? Can't wait to see the new place. It's sort of growing back again because these still need to be inventory, but... I'll tell you, we are very close. Yeah? All that's left is the lights along the shelving the light streaps and, and, and the, the mirrors. mirrors right. And then, did it. And then, uh, then it's game on. All right. And I think we'll have to probably start it and then evolve it into what we were trying to do in there. But we can move it over there and just start shooting. No, yeah. No, yeah. it'll be an incremental. So the feature shelves will be empty. Adding the segments and whatnot, and whatnot. Yeah. So forth, etc. Here's somebody stealing and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lever start. And if you drink. May you drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.